So today we're going to talk about monitors. I am one of the unlucky owners of a Samsung monitor and I have it disabled here. Now I'm going to power it and keep the power button on so you can see the test should appear. It immediately closes, meaning there's something wrong. Also, again, it immediately turns on, off, sorry. So if I enable it through Windows, extend the desktop, I hit apply. The second I hit apply, it should, turns on. There we go, it's on, and it's off again. That indicates to me that there's something wrong with the, the power supply to the unit. More specifically, the capacitors. So I'm going to disassemble that monitor and try to see if one of them has blown out or maybe they just need replacement. Okay, now I got the monitor into my work area and I'm ready to disassemble it. The only thing I have done off camera is uh, removing the foot. It had a screw at the bottom, you could just take it off. It can be quite difficult to disassemble these screens because they don't have any screws on the back. They have one here and one here, but that's only for this uh, byte list right there. These are assembled by pressure and you have to sort of wiggle them apart because there's two plastic brackets that are connecting inside. So let's see how that's going to go.
Disassembly the, uh, the monitor, and if you notice the inside, it's basically just three components. We have the big screen, then we have this part. It's actually a let's just call it a video adapter or synthesizer, what you want. It's the one, the part that translates our data signal into something viewable on the pixels. And uh, you notice that I smelled them. That's because if something has burned. Uh, on this board, you would be able to smell it right away. Luckily, there's nothing, so we can put that away for now. Then there's this board right here. If we were really lucky, then one of these condensators might have blown out, but uh, they didn't. So, what might have happened is the so one or two, maybe more, of the condensators have dried out because it's very hot in here when the monitor is on. You can also see the very big cooling blocks, but no fans. So that's add a fan, and they would last much longer. Just a little one. Yeah, that's the tip. Anyway, these capacitors are usually made to last 50 years, but they are not made to last 50 years under these conditions, because there is a fluid inside or a liquid, and uh, it will dry out, and that's most likely what has happened in one of them. I could test them one at a time and find out which one has dried out and replace that one, but then I might be unlucky enough to have to do it all over again in a month because maybe the next one stops working. So instead I found out what each one worth, made a shopping list so I can go out and purchase all of these. So the next video is uh, where I have already replaced the condensators. Sorry, that's the Danish word. Capacitors. And uh, we are going to assembly and test the monitor. So this is the end of part one and uh, part two will be uh, assembly and testing again. Yeah, that's the dark if you had any doubt. Um, it's a really nice board, it's very big, but if you noticed I took out my camera and uh, took a few pictures, that's because some of these things look really really dodgy. I'll post a picture so you can see. It looks almost as if it's hand welded or so soldered, sorry. Sort of sloppy. Some of them are crooked. Some of the resistors, the small capacitors, that's also crooked. So, yeah, it's otherwise a beautiful board. Same with the video board, but they're just minor things. Oh yeah, the date. It's from uh, February two thousand and nine, meaning uh, it almost lasted seven years. Seven years for a $400 monitor, that's uh, rather expensive, I think. I have this, uh, that's a Hyundai right in front of me, it's more than 12 years old. I don't even know how old it is, but it's still running, it's on every day. So, yeah. It might be because this is made for gaming and no, no, you're right, that's bullshit. So, I don't know why Samsung has the idea of making all the monitors last a much shorter time than some of their competitors. Uh, but, on the other hand, they make them really easy to service and maintain. So that's a good thing. I'm sure if I 
this is simply one of those other monitors I would not be able to uh, repair it. So, end of part one. Thank you for watching. Comment, rate, consider subscribing and uh, I'll see you next time.